Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? BANGLE again here coming back at you with another video today. Back on the Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty on NCAA 14 of course today. Taking on the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. And I said it, it was going to be a big episode. Why? Because... We had some big stuff happen. That's not what I would want to do. Recruiting-wise, we are in a bit of a bind. I have used my coach upgrade that we just received last game to buy Locksmith or Lockbreaker again. I think it's called Lockbreaker because Omar Williams again has locked us out. We're not that far back. He visits today and he locked us out, but we can open the door again, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to have a big week. We're back in it, plus 635. He's visiting. This is when we take over. This is when we hop up to the front of the list and we land the five-star, six foot or yeah, six foot four, 92 speed receiver stud. This is the time. We are in 10 battles. Mike Marshall, Chris Holmes, Claude Rose. He visited last week. He still is not coming. He just isn't because we, or he didn't visit last week. He visited two weeks ago. But we're dropping because maybe we lost last week, even though we gained plus 750. I don't know. It is uh, certainly not up to me to determine where he goes. I wish it was here. Kyle Dickens locked us out. A lot of these guys I, were in battles, but we're not in battles. Like, we're not playing for a lot of these players. We didn't try to go after him too much. So the only real battles are these. Uh, these top ones and we need to make sure we get these players because they are four that would really really help out our team we only have two commits so far scott hall who's a center who's not great and mike mckenzie who's a center who also is not great he's okay i'm gonna go in and see if there are any players at all with a low lock percentage that we can potentially get to go to ozark state uh, but I think it's unlikely that they come to Ozark State. There's still a lot of guys with low lock percentage, but when you go to Caliber, how many four-star players with less than 25% are they going to be? There's only two. Not that we'll have a chance to get either, and not that I really want either. I don't need a running back or a quarterback, but you understand the predicament. I added three players here with lower lock percentages, and I will be scouting them, finding if they're any good as these bottom three. If they're like, you know, if we find a gem... I mean, it's instant. Oh, man. There's one. That's why you look. Oh, that's why you look. 89 finesse move with 80 block shed. That is why you look. Two absolute studs on the defensive line that we might have a chance to get. Albert Johnson looks like this could be, this could absolutely be happening. All right, so we did a lot of recruiting work already this episode, but we need to come out now. And if we're going to make a play for Omar Williams, we are going to have to win this game. Playing the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, they are good. So that's a little bit of a problem for us out the gate. We're going to see what we can do. We have to beat them. We need to make an impression on Omar Williams, and we need to meet, uh, meet whatever goals he has. Whether it's 800 passing yards, we need to do it. What does he want? Pass for over 250 yards. That's easy. We need to do that. It's going to happen. Derek Smith, four-star defensive end. Three sacks with the D-line. Two tackles for loss with D-line. Uh, possible. Yeah, that's probably the most difficult one. I think we're easily going to be able to pass for 250. We're a passing offense. Colby Spencer is a passing quarterback. Most of them are. Most, most quarterbacks pass. But this is a good team, so... It's not going to be a cakewalk for sure. Currently fourth in the Sun Belt, 4-1 in conference play, 6-4 overall. This is a big game against Western Kentucky. This is a big game. All right, back in the saloon, under the lights. It is a packed house. Not a seat is open that I can see, maybe. That is a almost a really bad start. This team clearly, as you guys can see already, 
They play really, really fast. We'll have to see what we can do offensively. Um, and on defense, we're going to have to just stop them. I know that seems obvious, but it's going to be real tough, I imagine. Fisher in the backfield is read option. All right. Yeah, it's getting going early here. Mike White picks up 12. In the backfield, Blankenship can't wrap up. Sandoval Slaughter's there. Also had a little bit of help from Jeff Fisher. Blitzing. Handoff goes to Furby. No one can touch him. He picks up 10. Another handoff. Another broken tackle. But Furby goes down to the backfield. I, I sound ridiculous saying Furby, by the way. I don't know if you guys know those little uh, like weird-looking freak toys that people used to play with. The Furbies. I don't know. It, <laughs> I'm going to be saying it all game, and that's all I can think of. That nightmare fuel toy. They're going to the sideline. Come on, Outlaw. Nicarious Fant with the first down. Play tight. Come on. McQueen, get to him. Let's go, baby. ka -chow. Mike White goes down to the backfield. Loss of seven. Came right in that B gap. I like it. Oh, it's going to be an outside handoff. You better wrap up. Higgins kind of gets bodied, but he comes back and makes the play. That might have even been the A-gap. I don't... Well, on the uh, on the Lightning McQueen sack, I can't remember if we came through uh, this one or this one. I, I didn't see based on the replay. This is the B-gap, for those who didn't know. Well, now i got to play some defense. Over the middle, I'm right there to tackle him. I'd love to get an interception when I'm right on the route or stop that from being complete every once in a while. That'd be cool. But uh, the B gap is in between the center and the, uh, excuse me, the uh, the guard and the tackle. So both, there are two B gaps between the right guard and the right tackle, uh, between the left guard and the left tackle. And the A gap is inside between the center and the left guard and the center and the right guard. Two A gap, two B gap. C gap is like not really a gap, but it is occasionally referred to as that. And that's outside the tackle. As Outlaw has a little bit of space here. Chris Outlaw down the sideline. Returns it into Hilltopper territory. That's Colby Spencer going to take over. Handoff goes to Scott Lewis. We're going to zig and zag and weave for the first down. Only three yards, but it's good vision. Rolling out with Spencer. Who is that with the speed? No, you're not going to get up, Colby. You're not going to get up. What are you... Maniac. Check down. Rodriguez. A little bit of power in there. Third and three. We're going to throw that ball. And it is right off the hands of third string tight end Quincy Rust. He's played so well. And we are going for it. Quincy Rust and uh, Gabriel Timmons, tight end two and three. They do get a lot of touches, surprisingly. And they usually play pretty well. So that's an upsetting drop. Hopefully something gets open here. Might even slant Rob Gaither as well, or drag him. Hopefully something gets open. And uh, we're going to streak Rodriguez. I don't really like going to the flat on a play like this. We're going to run with Spencer. We have space, and he has speed. Breaks a tackle. Picks up 17. First and goal. I wanted Francisco. Instead, I'll settle for the sideline. Checking down to Scott Lewis. I don't think we're going to get in the end zone here. This Hilltopper team is playing really, really well. It's third and goal from the six. Goddard in the game. Where's Colby? Is he already injured? Might want to throw quick to Rodriguez. That's going to be the move. He holds on. Touchdown. We're going to go up early. Pedro Goddard, two for three. Eight yards and a TD. Where is Colby Spencer? And how do I never notice it when he goes down? Must be because it happens every play. It's hard to keep track of. Make that tackle. Oh, goodness. What a play by Tariq Parrish. I don't know why you're over there in the side of the field, but I'm glad that you were. Blocked right into the running back. Throw over the middle. Complete by Fant, or two Fant. Unlucky. That's no one making that tackle? Okay. They're going to the end zone. Just about. 
Good job by the defense forcing that incomplete. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to take that inside. DeAndre Furby has a touchdown. The Hilltoppers top us 10-7. We're going to have a Booyaka Booyaka 619 on the clock. Who doesn't love a little Rey Mysterio reference? You guys used to watch uh, WWE ever? I used to. Like 10 years ago. He was the best. They're blitzing. Throw it. Oh, it's still Goddard? Where's Colby Spencer? That's open. Rob Gaither first down. Rolling out with Goddard. There's some good room. First down. But you got to wonder, where is Colby Spencer? Did it pop up and I just didn't notice at some point? We're going to find out. Backspat, he's out for the game. Dude, yeah. all right, Pedro Goddard, it's your show. We're going to throw that ball. Goddard, complete. Nope. Rob Gaither dropped the ball. Hate to see that. Throwing on the run. Complete to Karan Kirkpatrick. He came back and got the first down. Third and ten. I don't know if we're going to be able to throw for 250 today. This defense is, is playing pretty well. And that is an example of it as... Uh, gets the interception. That's a tough one. And uh, yeah, he just he played that really well. He was looking over the middle. Thought he was going to play the outside streak. Or I should say the middle streak. And he just came back and made a nice play. Get over there, Fisher. Ah! The fighting for yards is so painful to watch. White gonna try and scramble. Can't. That's not gonna count as a sack. Ah, oh, that's brutal. Daryl Bradford, of course, making the play. He's been so good recently. Oh, let's go. Good tackle for loss by Jeff Fisher. Throw it at me. Not to that guy, Jernigan. Just put a random H in there. But our defense comes up clutch and makes another stop. They will kick the field goal, making it 13-7. to And we still have a chance to score a touchdown and take the lead. Scott Lewis, I mean, you're just like, you're hurting me from being able to step up in the pocket and you're not blocking the incoming player. So what do you want me to do there? Like, what's the point of you standing back there blocking if you're not blocking? Third and 10. That's open. Good throw from Goddard. Good catch by Rodriguez. 31 yard reception. And we are in striking distance with over a minute to play here in the first half. That's open. Goddard finds Francisco. Francisco finds the end zone. 43 yards. And we're going to take the lead. But did we leave too much time on the clock? Probably. What a bad play by Mike White. He had the pitch pretty easily. But instead settles for getting tackled in the backfield by Ron Wilkerson. And I did call a timeout. Because we have two left, 23 seconds is probably not enough time to score. But we're a quick strike offense, so with 18 seconds, clock stops at first downs, but we have two timeouts, so we'll be using those. I wouldn't put it out of reach to maybe get in the end zone. I know that sounds insane, but we could set up for a field goal. We have, again, huge quick strike potential. All it takes is one of these routes to beat what they have going on. Throw on the run. There it is. Karan Kirkpatrick down the sideline. Juking back inside. We're going to call a timeout. That's why we did it. Big play. Quick strike potential. And suddenly we're inside the 20. Rolling out with Goddard. We're going to go for the end zone. He's hit. I got the timeout off. Just barely. I thought we'd maybe be able to power in. We're down to the two. Do we settle for the field goal? I almost feel like it'd be a waste considering what we've done so far. We're going for the end zone here. First and goal. It's a read option. Goddard, power! Puts the ball on the ground. It's recovered by McCollum, and we come away with nothing. 
They just shut down the read option really well. We made the right read, but they were just there. Good power from Goddard, but uh, unfortunately can't get into the end zone. Fumble doesn't hurt. I figured, and I know, someone point out the black helmet earlier. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> the solid black helmet. I know we're returning. The field goal would have put us up um, by four points, I guess, but I wanted the seven. And I would probably do the same again. As Outlaw has some space down the sideline. The fastest player on our team. With another fantastic return. Third and three. We're going to throw that quickly. And Karan Kirkpatrick drops the football. You hurt me. You hurt me, Karan. We're going for it. On fourth down. Fourth and three. We'll have a wheel out there. I don't want to go into that side. But I guess we're going to have to deal. Throwing the in. Karan Kirkpatrick redeems himself, and he's still going. Look at the moves. The spin to the juke. It's not a fluke. He is the best in the game. Coming up on 100 yards now. Scott Lewis up the middle. Touchdown. 11-yard run. Capping off this drive with an 8-point lead. 21-13. No, no, no. Don't go. Don't, don't go. Just come back. We just want to talk. That's got to be a pick. How is that complete? No. Quinn Jernigan picks up 27. Oh, wow. Furby's still going. Furby's still going. Go for the pitch. Tariq Parrish. Good open field tackle on DeAndre Furby. Oh my God, Baker is wide open. Was that my responsibility? I don't think I was man aligned to the running back there, was I? You'll never see an easier touchdown. Was I man assigned to the running back? I don't think so. I guess that'll be included in the edit. I'll be able to see. If that's my mistake, my bad. But geez, I didn't, I didn't think I was. And that's back of the end zone. Two point conversion successful. We're tied at 21. Hey, you, want, you guys wanted a game? Well, we got one. Third and 29. How do we get in this spot, huh? We're going to try that ball. Oh, my God. It's going to be complete to Roland Francisco. We just come up with these big gains out of nowhere, and we're over 250. Love to see that because now, uh, what's his name? Omar Williams. Is going to have even more points in potentially becoming an Ozark State Outlaw. We want to go to Rob Gaither. That's not the throw. I mean, it looks like it is because it's complete to Karan Kirkpatrick. He's having a great game besides a big drop. Goddard swerving, diving. Oh, so close to the end zone. Read option. Goddard. Touchdown. Love a good zero yard touchdown run. And we're going to retake the lead 28 21. Two minutes to play here in the third quarter. We had eight minutes of action left for you. Do I do seven minute quarters or do I do six? We have minutes left for you. It's either, it's either uh, eight or nine. Oh, Furby, can we please tackle you? Oh, rats. To run, and we're right there. Third and three, it is a big down. We're coming to the end of the third quarter. This will be the final play, I would imagine. Let's shut it down. Let's make a big stop. Is this going to be a run? I would say likely. We'll slide inside. It's a run up the middle, and he's got it. Rough. Second and goal up the middle. Make the stop. No. This Furby will not die. It's going to be 28-28. It's a battle. So here's where we are. It's a close game. Western Kentucky more first downs. But obviously you can see 
We have more total yards. So we've been uh, gaining a lot more yards per play than they have been, which is why the uh, first down numbers are skewed as we are going to try to end this game here. Maybe not on this particular drive, but pretty close as Goddard completes it to Rob Gaither. Goddard rolling out. I mean, we have a number of options here. You gotta be... That's just so typical me. Are you, is this, are you joking my ass? I have so many options that I can't pick one. I wait for a bunch to develop. Nothing ever does. And as I said, we are going to stay aggressive. And in these situations, I am going to go for it. Because I don't trust the defense at all. At all. Hold up. Alright, we're going to go back to this. Was that the previous play? Hold up. I don't know what I want to even do here with the play art. Alright, we're going to try something like this. We'll see what gets open. And I can't. Oh, I can't throw it. Wow. Although, I will say, the reason I went for it there, which a lot of people would not have gone for it, the reason that I did is because I know our defense is going to allow yards. I know that. I'd rather them just get to here and not waste the time. as Kachow, Lightning McQueen in the backfield. I know they're going to get yards. I know they're going to score points. They have every single drive of the game. I want time to answer if they're going to score. That's why I went for it there. You can agree or not agree. You've seen the defense over the course of this series. I felt like we were boxing and making that decision. It's going to be a run. Get to the outside. Blanket chip. Oh, my God. I suck. I'm so bad. I can't tackle at all. I hate it. Give me Madden tackling, please. Let me, let me click A when I'm in the area and trigger an animation. That's an interception. I mean, you hate to see that. You hate to come out with a chance to really make a, a big drive here and you turn over the ball trying to go over the top when you don't need to do it. Drell Green with the pick, and that is that is a tough pill to swallow because you got to assume Western Kentucky is going to answer with a touchdown or a field goal. Oh, they're going to pass? Ooh, I don't know what happened there. That's good for us. That is really good. Third and eight. Please run the ball. They're not going to because they're still going to try and uh, pick up the first down, I imagine. It's a screen. That's a good play for us. And that's a good tackle. They're not going to be able to be in field goal range here. They're not going to be able to convert with points. They're going to go for it. This is a deep field goal. I don't know about this. This is a deep field goal, and we really need this to get missed. Did we just get missed, did I say? What? We need them to miss. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Kick is up, and he drilled it. How do you have that range out of nowhere? This random Western Kentucky hilltopper kicker drills that one? Wow. Wow. Well, we need to score quickly now that we're down 10. I think that's going to be a good way to do it. Going deep to Rob Gaither, who goes up and gets it through traffic. I love Rob Gaither, dude. This guy is the best. I know I said that about Karan Kirkpatrick earlier. He's not the best. He drops the ball wide open. The best does not do that. Rob Gaither goes up, and he catches the ball through traffic. He gives us a chance to win. Rolling out, throwing on the run. It's intercepted. I, I suck. That's a big play. Don't really know how that worked, but uh, I'll take it. We're not out of this game yet. Me rolling out of the pocket there and expecting the same result of what happened earlier. We roll out of the pocket. It kind of screws with the, uh, the coverages a bit because the secondary doesn't really know exactly what to do. And it's resulted in huge plays. I don't know what that was right there. Um, that, is, that is the game. So... It's resulted in big plays. I expected the secondary to just not play it like they did. Obviously, the throw wasn't anywhere close to where it needed to be, but the defense played it better than I thought. So either way, it just wasn't a great idea. It didn't end up being. So uh, that is a really 
really rough way to lose in a game that I think we needed to win. So that is your final 38-28. I mean, we had it. I really want to go back and look at that interception. And we had some big plays. This was a fun game to play, even though we lost. It was tough. Colby Spencer going down early, having to play with the backup quarterback hurt. I will tell you that. But I gotta, I gotta say that 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 is just a tough interception at the end of the game. I do want to, I do want to look at it. There's no replay available for the turning one of the biggest plays in the entire game. Uh, tough. That is a that is a tough loss again in week 14. And we go on to play our final game of the season, week 15 at Troy. Let's we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm glad we accomplished our goal for Omar Williams. I think it would have been a lot better had we got the win. But unfortunately, they can't all end in wins. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Yeah. Okay.